Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you a quirk of comparators that allows for instant comparator operation. This was shown to me on OR recently by Fearless Z, who told me he got the idea from technical Minecraft servers and has already made some very cool builds with it. I'll link his channel in the description. This is all very new to me, so some details might be inaccurate, but I think I understand the basic idea enough to show a useful application. The first thing to understand is that comparators don't react to one tick signals, so a one tick signal won't normally go through. However, if a comparator receives an initial one tick signal, then receives another signal one tick later, that is right when the first signal is turning off, then the comparator will process the second signal instantly. We say the initial one tick signal primed the comparator to operate instantly. And what's so great about this is that our normal comparator functionality of signal strength subtraction works too and operates instantly. So with precise timing, we can make comparator based builds operate faster than normally possible. Comparator priming also appears to work with the side comparator input too. The downside of this technique is the need for the priming signal and associated timing components. Every time we want to do this trick, we have to supply a priming signal one tick beforehand, so it's much easier when everything is synced up. On the other hand, in a CPU or other sequential build, everything operates based on a fixed clock cycle anyway, so maybe it's not so bad. An immediate application is for insta-carry. Normally, in insta-carry, we use pistons to block or unblock the carry line so that carries propagate instantly. However, here we can use the instant blocking or unblocking of the comparator to the same effect, allowing the carry to propagate through multiple comparators instantly. In this demonstration model of a carry line, we see that a hypothetical generated carry really does propagate instantly. This observer signal represents a generated carry plus the one tick priming signal beforehand. Imagine the levers with the signals going to the side of the comparators as propagates or inverse propagates, which determine whether a carry should go through or not. I've used torches here to represent the final adder XNOR logic that won't react to the one tick priming signal. And further, I cut off all the comparators once we've done our comparator logic, so any lingering carry signals don't have to drain out through the comparator chain. Here's a quick test build of an adder using comparator priming insta carry. You can see it's not very compact or fast, but it does show the concept. Despite the fact that I operate the priming manually, I'm not cheating the timing, and the carry logic really is happening instantly. Like I said, in a CPU or other sequential build like a sequential multiplier, we have to use timing through clock cycles anyway. In this prototype, I didn't implement the comparator chain reset, so the clock speed has to be slow, but that is an easy fix in the next iteration of the build. Here I add 5 plus 3, and then operate the carry line comparator priming, and we can see the result is 8. There is also weird behavior when multiple prime comparators are chained together. We're not sure if this is directional or based on update order. In this adder, I had to add a second repeater on one end of the priming line because the repeater powering the middle of the line made some comparators fail to be instant for some reason. Here's another application. 
I'm here on PNW Man's old plot where he and Don Manuel 1229 were experimenting with instant hex wire. PNW told me he got it from Don, who got it from Nikeru, who got it from someone else, and this was more than two years ago. We can see each observer provides the one tick priming signal. Apparently this design also had some weird directional issues. This is a really neat concept, and I hope this video gave you a good primer on the technique. If you have suggestions or corrections, please post a comment below. Thanks for watching.